fine. Okay. okay. Just give me a minute. So what did we uh, study in the last class? Uh, we studied about frac the fraction part in this chapter. Yeah, so what was the first topic, Zanetta? Uh, it was multiplying a fraction with a whole number. And the second part? Multiplying a fraction with a fraction. Okay, very good. So that's pretty simple to solve such questions. Now, Zanetta, can you tell me that uh, if you multiply two proper fractions, the answer that you get is... Is that greater to or smaller to the individual fractions? It's smaller than the individual uh, fractions. And if the fractions are improper, uh, then it's greater than the individual fractions. Okay, then it's greater than the individual fractions. Very good. We'll just practice uh, a few questions related to the exercise that we studied yesterday. Please do okay. that and then we we'll start studying the new topic. Okay? Yes. First of all, you have to find. Okay, so the question is. So there's a girl. Okay, so there's a girl named Sadie, and Sadie plants four saplings in a row in her garden. Okay. Now the distance between two adjacent saplings is three by four meter. Find the distance between first and last sapling. Okay, do you understand the question? Yes. Okay, please uh, just tell me what did you understand by this question? Uh, we have to find out uh, the distance between the first and the last one. So we have to multiply three by four uh, into four. Okay, so I'll do this one for you. Please look carefully. Um, it's given that there's a girl named Sadie. She's planted four saplings. So let's consider first sapling over here, the second sapling, the third sapling, and the fourth sapling. It is given that the distance between adjacent saplings. Okay, it is three by four meter. Okay. Now you have to tell me that the, what is the distance between the first and the last sapling. So if the first sapling is this one, so the last sapling is this one, right? So what will be the distance between these two? Will you multiply three by four by with four or by three? By three. Yeah, by three. Because the distance is actually uh, only uh, thrice you are getting three by four meter. Okay. So you multiply three by four of three. Just do this. Tell me what's the answer. Nine by four. Okay, you get nine by four meter. But uh, Zunera, see, it's very important that you frame statements of the word problems and then you solve them. So I want you to first write the statements of this uh, question. And then we'll move ahead to the next one. Please write down the statements first and then I'll check it and then we'll move ahead.
are you able to form statements on error yes okay just tell me what are the statements uh, the first statement is the uh, distance between two adjacent saplings is three by four meters. And then distance between first and last sapling uh, is three into three by four meters. Okay. Uh, and the answer for that is nine by four. And when you convert it into mixed fraction, then it's two one by four. So uh, the answer is uh, there is two by four, uh, two one by four uh, meters distance between the first and the last sapling. Um, okay, good. So that's how you can change the statements, correct? Now we shall come to the next question. So there's a girl named Lipika and she's reading. Just give me a minute. Okay, so just look here. So there's a girl named Lipika and she's reading a book and it's mentioned that in six days, she's able to read the entire book. Okay. Uh, and every day she's reading. So Lipika reads one whole three by four hours every day. Okay. She's reading one whole three by four hours every day. And she's able to read the entire book in six days. Uh, you have to tell me how many hours in all were required by her to read the book. So uh, how many hours were required to read the book? Tell me, Zunera, how are you going to solve it? Um, first, you have to convert uh, one three by four uh, into a mixed, I mean, in proper fraction. And then we have to uh, multiply that into six. Okay, and what would be the statements? Uh, the statements will be... Uh, Uh, they pick uh, how much time the picker reads uh, in one day. Yeah, the see um, number of hours devoted by the picker in one day. Okay, it's one whole or uh, three by four. Okay, one whole three by four hours. So number of hours in six days because it took her six days to read the entire book. So it shall be one whole three by four into six. Please do this and tell me what is the answer. Junara, did you get your answer? Yes. Now please tell me. I got, uh, by, by converting it into an improper fraction, I got 7 by 4. And then after multiplying, I got 42 by 4. Okay, very good. You got 42 by 4. Please also convert it into simplest form. Twenty-one by two. Okay, twenty-one by two is correct. Okay, so that's how you can solve such questions. 
Um, now I shall give you another type of question. So you have like fill in the blanks, okay? So consider you have two by three. So you have to just tell me a number by which you are going to multiply two by three in order to get ten by thirty. Okay, it can be a whole number or a fraction as well. First question. The second question is. Um, you have one by five. You are going to multiply one by five with what? So you get two by ten. What will be your answer? Uh, for the first one, I get uh, I'll get five by ten. Okay. And for the second one, I'll get uh, two by two. Okay, I get two by two. Um, so just see the error. Two by two equals to one only. So one by five into one, I'm getting two by ten. But whenever I multiply any number with one, I should get the same number. So how do you think this is possible? Tell me. See, if I do four into one, I'll get four. If I do six into one, I'll get six. Ten into one, I'll get ten only. But if I'm doing one by five into one, how can I get two by ten? Okay, I'll give you a hint. Use the concept of equivalent fractions. Okay, look here. If I convert two by ten in the simplest form, it's equal to one by five only. So it's actually one by five only. Okay, one by five and two by ten are equal because they're equivalent fractions. Correct. So yes. that's how this is possible. Okay, now we shall be moving ahead. The topic that we will start today is division of fractions. Okay. Now, when I talk about division of fractions, see, whenever I will put a division sign, always remember the concept of reciprocal. Do you know what does reciprocal mean? No. See, reciprocal means consider a, a fraction one by two. If I tell you to reciprocal this fraction, that means I have to interchange the numerator and the denominator. Okay. Just interchange the numerator and the denominator. What do I get? Yes, yeah, uh, two. Two by one or two. So this is what the meaning of reciprocal is. Okay, like I give you three by four. What do I get on reciprocaling it? Four by three. Four by three. If I give you three, what do I get? Uh, one by three. One by three. Very good. So you should know the concept of reciprocal. To learn division of fractions. Now, what is division of fraction? How is it connected? Why am I saying this? Look here. See, if you see, uh, I say one by two divided by um, three by four. Okay. If I tell you to do this, if there was a multiply sign, it would have been very simple. One by two into three by four, you would have solved it as three by eight. Okay. If it was a multiply sign in between them, but it's not. A multiply sign. It's instead a division sign. So how would you do it? You are going to reciprocal the next number. See, this is the first fraction or the first number, and this is the second number. Okay, first number write as it is. Just write one by two as it is. Now change this division sign with a multiplication sign. Remove this division sign and put a multiply sign. But see, you are changing the sign. Okay. That means you also need to change something else to compensate for that change, right? You cannot just simply write divide as multiply. So in order to compensate for that change, I will just reciprocal this term. I'll reciprocal. What will I get on reciprocal again? Four by three. Yeah, four by three. So this is now our question, and now we can just solve it two one time and two two time. Answer becomes two three two by three. Okay. You understand it? Yes. That's how we can solve such questions. Uh, you have to remove the division sign 
first number is going to be retained as it is in the answer okay you will write the first number as it is you will remove the division sign put a multiplication sign instead the second number you are going to reciprocate correct no. okay i'll give you a few more questions just tell me what is 3 divided by 1 by 4 टेल मी वॉट डज दिस मीन of or 1 by 2 i'm sorry yeah ready to do 1 by 2 of uh 1 what does this mean uh, this means that uh half uh one half of a whole yes. so i have a whole over here and i'm just doing half of it so that means i'm dividing it into halves and this is the 1 by 2 portion right what does 1 by 3 of 1 mean it mean i am having a whole and i have to divide it into three parts so i have this now what does this division sign mean okay i have 3 divided by 1 by 4 so what i'm going to do i have three holes i have three holes so i just draw three holes 1 2 and 3 2 and 3 i have three holes so i have to do 1 by 4 of each of this hole so how will i do 1 by 4 of this one i will divide it into four parts right this one also i'll divide it into four parts to do 1 by 4 and this also i'll divide it into four parts right so this is 1 by 4 This can also be written as one by four. This is also one by four. This is also one by four. Similarly, all of these are one by four, one by four, one by four only. This one also one by four, one by four, one by four. So this is the meaning of three divided by one by four. Okay. You get this? Yes. Okay, good. Now we shall move ahead. Okay, Zunera, I have a few questions for you. Please do them. um the first one is 7 divided by 2 by 5 the second is 6 divided by 4 by 7 the third is 2 divided by 8 by 9 please do this What are your answers in error? For the first one, I got thirty-five uh, by two. Okay. For the second one, I got forty-two by four, and after simplifying, simplifying, it's twenty-one by two. Mm hmm. And for the last one, I got eighteen by eight, and after simplifying, uh, it will be nine by four. Okay, very good, in error. All your answers are correct. good so now i shall give you questions of mixed fractions okay so please do this 
you have six divided by five whole one by three, and the second one you have seven divided by two whole four by seven. Zunera, what are your answers? Uh, for the first one, after converting into uh, an improper fraction, I got 16 by 3. And after multiplying, I got 18 by 16. Uh, then after simplifying, 9 by 8. Okay, so you got 9 by 8 for the first one. For the second one? Uh, Just tell me the answer. Uh, okay. One second, I need to simplify it. I got 49 by 18. 49 by 18. Okay, let's just check your answers. Um, so the first one is you do 6 multiplied by, you will convert it into improper. You get 3 by 16. Okay, when you solve it, you do. You get 9 by 8. Okay, your answer is correct. Then you do this. You will write 7 into 17 by 4. Um, how do you get 49 by 18, Clara? Okay, it's 49 by 18, correct. I'm sorry, I just made a mistake. Nine by eighteen, correct. Um, so now we move ahead. I shall be giving a few more questions. So now we have um, you have to. There's a set of fractions written. You have to reciprocal them, and after reciprocaling them, you have to tell me are they proper, improper, or mixed. Okay. Or whole numbers, actually. They can't be mixed. You will have to convert them into mixed. So just tell me they are proper, improper, or whole numbers. Correct? Um, the first one is 3 by 7. Then you have 5 by 8. Then you have 9 by 7. 6 by 5. 12 by 7. 1 by 8. Um, 1 by 11. So these are the set of fractions. Just reciprocal them and then you classify them. 
proper, improper or both. Uh, so for the first one, it will be improper, then prop improper, and then proper, no, and then sir, proper. Second. You say improper, proper, improper, and... Uh, the second one will be improper. Okay, improper. All of them improper? Uh, no. Please repeat. Uh, Yeah. For the first one, improper. Okay. Then improper. Okay. Then proper. Okay. And then proper again. Fine. And proper. And then a whole number. And another whole number. Very good, Sanera. This will become 7 by 3, 5 by 8 by 5. 7 by 9, 5 by 6, 7 by 12, 8 and 11. So all of these answers are correct. Good, Zanita. So now we shall move ahead. And we have a few more questions on division only. We'll practice a little bit more and then we'll move ahead to the next topic. So the first one is 2 whole divided, 2 whole 1 by 5 divided by 1 whole 1 by 5. Okay, the second one is 3 whole 1 by 5 divided by 1 whole 2 by 3. The third one is 3 whole 2 by 5 divided by 1 whole 1 by 2. These three questions, please do them.
Sunaira, are we able to do these questions? Yes, ma'am. Can you please tell me the answers? Just a second. Uh, Ma'am, for the first one, I, I got uh, 11 by 6, and then for the second one, I got 34 by 15. And then I got 32 by 15. Okay, so let's just check these answers. Uh, just a second. So for the first one is 2 whole 1 by 5 divided by 2 whole 1 by 5 divided by 1 whole 1 by 5. Okay, so what will I do? I'll just first convert them into improper fractions. 5 into 2, 10 plus 1, 11 by 5. Um, divide 6 by 5. I'll reciprocal it. 11 by 5 multiplied by 5 by 6. I'll get 11 by 6. And your answer is okay, correct. Then I have 3 whole 1 by 5 divided by 1 whole 2 by 3. Okay. Um, I'll again can follow the same step. 16 by 5 divided by 3, right? Yeah. 5 by 3 Reciprocal it um, and get 48 by 25. Um, how do you got 34 by 15? You have to reciprocal it as well. Miss Ma'am, I did. It's just a second. 3 whole 1 by 5 divided by 1 whole 2 by 3. You got 16 by 5, 5 by 3, you will reciprocal it, you'll get 3 by 5. You'll multiply 16 with 3 and 5 with 5. How are you getting 34 by 15? Tell me the steps. Please tell me the First steps. First, uh, converted the mixed fractions into uh, improper fractions. Okay. And I got 16 by 5 and uh, 3 by 2. No, it, it won't be 3 by 2. 1 whole 2 by 3. How will you convert it into improper? Multiply 3 and 1. Add 2 to it. You will get 5. And then denominator shall remain the same. You will get 3. So it's 5 by 3. Okay. Please correct this thing. Your answer shall be 48 by 25. The yes, third one is clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, the third one is 3 whole 2 by 5 divided by 1 whole. One second. Ma'am, I think I said uh, I switched the uh, second and third one up. So for the second one, I got uh, 32 by 15, and for the fourth one, I got 34 by 15. I thought Doha was saying it shall be 34 by 15, and this answer you got 32 by 15. Okay, that's what you're trying to say. Yes. Right. But 32 by 15 is also incorrect, Zunera. Answer shall be 48 by 25. Okay? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, now we shall come to the third one. You have 3 whole 2 by 5. So, 3 whole 2 by 5 divided by 1 whole 1 by 2. So, you convert them into improper fractions. 17 by 5 divided by 3 by 2. You multiply them, 
टू बाई थ्री यू गेट थर्टी फोर बाई फिफ्टीन योर आंसर इज थर्टी फोर बाई ओके योर फर्स्ट एंड थर्ड आंसर इज करेक्ट द सेकेंड वन योर यू नो हाउ टू सॉल्व इट बट यू जस्ट मेड अ कैलकुलेशन एर प्लीज रिमेंबर एंड मेक श्योर दैट यू डू नॉट मेक एनी कैलकुलेशन एर ओके Okay, now um, I guess we are clear with this topic: multiplication and division of fractions, right? Now we shall be studying a new topic, which is multiplication of decimals. Okay, multiplication of decimals. Okay, now Zunaira, consider I say zero point one into zero point one. Okay. Now decimals can be converted into fractions. Do you know this? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. So, what will be the fractional form of zero point one? Uh, one by ten. Okay, one by ten. And again, one by ten. So you're basically trying to say that I have to multiply one by ten into one by ten. Okay. So first, let's draw. What does one by ten mean? Okay. So if I have to say one by ten, I have. If it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, one more, you get ten. So consider it as a chocolate with ten pieces. Okay. So I have this chocolate, and I have ten pieces of this chocolate, and one by ten means one of all the ten pieces, right? So this is one by ten, right? Now, if I tell you do one by ten of one by ten, that means you have to do ten parts out of the one by ten part. That means, see, if this is your, see, this was your one by ten part, right? You have to now do ten parts of this one by tenth part. Okay, how will you do it? You will just divide it into ten parts. One, two, three, four, Okay, so consider these are equal parts. They are not equal actually, but just consider that they are equal parts. Okay, so now if you if I talk about one by ten of one by ten, that means this one block. This one block is actually one by ten of one by ten. Why? Because first I had a chocolate. I did ten parts out of this chocolate, and I was considering only one part out of the tenth part. So that this this single bar, this single bar. Was considered to be one by ten, right? But now they are saying just do one by ten of this part. So what I did, I divided this single part into ten more parts, and I got one part of the out of the whole bar, and this is actually one by ten of one by ten. Do you understand the concept? Yes. Yeah. So this is the concept relating to uh, multiplication of decimals. Okay. Um, I can also say, okay, if I tell you zero point two into zero point three, consider I have zero point two into zero point three. That means two by ten of three by ten. So first of all, what I'll do? I'll consider this chocolate only. I have ten parts of this chocolate of one bar. I will take two parts of this chocolate. So I consider I have this two parts of this chocolate. Okay. Now, out of these two parts, what do I have to do? What does this two by ten or three by ten mean? Tell me. Uh, we have to take uh, three uh, parts out of the uh, large 
uh, 10 pieces and then we have to get two uh, two parts from uh, each yeah so you can say that uh, this was 2 by 10 so if i just let me raise i'll put a dot okay for the part that i'm referring to so if this is 2 by 10 so i have to do 3 so just do 1 2 3 similarly 1 2 3 so this whole thing means 2 by 10 of 3 by 10 okay see you can also just relate it as this as this way like 1 by 10 or 1 by 10 what does it mean uh, just solve it and tell me 1 by 100 that means out of 100 parts, you have one part. So see, if you look at this grid, I actually have 100 squares. So out of these 100 squares, I was referring to only one square. That was 1 by 100 or 1 by 10 or 1 by 10. But now let's just multiply this thing. 2 by 10 of 3 by 10. What does it mean? It means 6 by 100. Yes. So I'm referring to 6 parts out of the 100 parts. You can relate it both the ways. You understand this? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good, Zanera. So now please tell me, do you have any doubts in today's session? No, ma'am. Anything you wish to ask, you can just go through it once again. I'll just scroll for you. We started from here. From this question onwards, please just go through it. Is everything clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay, very good, Zanera. Yeah. So now we shall continue in our next session. And I shall be giving you some homework. Please do them positively. Zanera, you already have two pending assignments from last two sessions. Please submit them before. Uh, and then uh, you also submit the third assignment that I shall be giving you today. Please make sure to submit all the assignments. Okay? Clear, Zanera? Zanera, do you hear me? Zunera, do you hear me? Hello? Yeah, Zunera, do you hear me? Do you hear me, Zunera?